Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Union Cross. JP just got an update of 3.1.0, and it comes with a bunch of quality of life updates. Things to make the game so much easier, and also a buff cap, which I'm going to talk about and how that affects us, and how everybody knew uh, that the buff cap was coming. And especially since Override came out, a lot of people were just like tiptoeing around, like Override's here. That means if we get another buffer, we can't double up. We need to use other strategies. And you know what? That was a really good part on Cena there. That every buffer that they're going to make probably from this point on is going to have over on it so you can never use an older buffer with extra attack to continue over the next newest buffer so they could always release a new buffer as long as that buffer has overwrite you can't use it as long as they raise the buff cap you can't use it because you can't double up so anyways we're going to talk about everything in this video i'm going to go over all my favorite quality of lights what you guys need to know it should be coming to global probably in december hopefully after coliseum would be the best but most likely knowing cena and knowing how this game has gone before they literally dropped last day coliseum updates that screwed over people uh like boosters and stuff like that so we'll see how this turns out all right, so the first thing on the list, guys, is that you guys can redeem your Starlight code right now. If you guys have completed Classic Kingdom, you got your 3,000 jewels, 600 jewels uh, per quest here. You see that little clear mark up there if you actually did it. Then you, all you guys got to do is go back into the menu of X3 and go all the way down to limited time challenges. If you complete it, this will all say cleared, and you can unlock your product code. This is probably because uh, being so early, Kingdom Hearts 3 is January 29th. They're probably doing this because of the Belgium thing in, uh, well, the Belgium thing, <laughs> period. They're doing it because their game's gonna be shut down and that's probably the only way they're gonna be able to do this. Maybe the game will be shut down, but you can still uh, log into this part here somewhere maybe, but this might be just an early code release so everyone in Belgium can actually get their code before this game shuts down. So. If you guys haven't done it yet, make sure you do it, race to it. It's not that hard, maybe three hours. If you're really bad, more than three hours. Um, some of them are kind of ridiculous. I have I have talked about this before, but yeah, you guys can redeem your uh, Starlight Keyblade now for Kingdom Hearts 3. All right, so next up is one of the biggest things that I had since seven star and sub slots were released. So on their equipment right now in the global version, guys, if you try to organize your sub slots in any way, you got to go through the entire list, look for the weakest one that you can replace. So like, let's say here, I got my world ends with you. It's a 0 0.20. Obviously, if I go through my list here, you can see I have a 0 0.12 sitting there. So what I want to do is look for that 0 0.12 and remove it and put in that 0 0.20 world ends with you metal twice actually so i gotta scroll scroll through all this go for that there you go i increase my multiplier now i gotta go look for the other one there it is there you go so it's not too bad but like when you're starting off the keyblade when it's not fully maxed out when you get so many metals you do got to go through all this over and over and over that was just power now i gotta go do speed so on and so on but in the jp version guys they've added a sub slot button this was supposed to be loaded up already <laughs> give me a second all right, we're in. So basically, in the sub slots in JP, you guys can see there's a new button here. This is basically the optimized button. My count's too new. I haven't really pulled for anything. I could probably go do a poll with you guys right now to just show you how the sub slot stuff works. Hopefully, I can get like multiple seven stars out of this. I got, I think, a free Riku poll. Forgot to do this as well. I was going to start this up a little bit more, but I reset this count one too many times. So I haven't just uh, kept up with it. I was trying to do like easy re-rolls, try to go for the best medals. Just I screwed up too many times, so I didn't bother with it. Uh, so this is a free one. Hopefully get some seven stars out of this. And I'm going to show you guys that sub slot button. But basically, all you do is push that button and it should put your best seven star medals in every slot there. Uh, there should be a guaranteed seven star out of this, unless I'm totally wrong. Oh no, this is the this is the one. That's right. This is the one that's just the supernova ones. The supernova banners that are no good at all. <laughs> Unless you're super lucky, which uh, just doesn't happen. So you know what? Let's go for the stained glass terror there. Let me go for a pull there for stained glass terror. Might as well. Boom, quick stop that. There you go. Was that even supposed to be guaranteed first pull? I don't think so, right? <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to be guaranteed first pull. But anyways, uh, so there we go. I got myself three seven stars. Let's go into the sub slots. You guys even get a little pull video during this update. Uh, let's go back to the sub slots and let me show you guys what I was talking about. So back to equipment. If I push this button right here, whatever I have available, it will automatically go towards it. Um, surprisingly, it didn't put that over there if you look at that. Because that could have went there. So that's interesting. Maybe if you if it doesn't fully connect, I guess it won't add it, which makes sense, right? There's really no point in doing it ahead of time. So if it does work, there you go. So as long as the connection continues, it will put the metals in there, and hopefully it does it as well with the best multiplier. So let's say I got a bunch of new 0.20s like I showed you, and I have 0.8s. 
push ultima optimize those to switch should switch out so there you go optimize button and my jp account just got really cool lucky on that <laughs> pretty sure that was a five mercy uh but this goes hand in hand guys with another issue uh that i've had for quite a while these games keep logging out beautiful with this next issue, this one is the biggest one as well, the subslot. Subslot was just a huge annoyance, but this one is even worse. Th this is the issue that you guys come into where you're like, okay, I want to level up uh, my Zexian medal and I want to put in traits, but you end up using that trait medal as a percentage or uh, on a PvP setup or something, and you can't add it to him. Even if you unlock it, you can't add it to him because it's stuck on some Keyblade setup, be that PvP, be that a sub-slot uh, for your pet, so on and so on. You just can't do it until you remove it from everywhere that it's in. And I've had times where I spent like 10, 20 minutes trying to figure out where it is on every Keyblade going through each one to realize it was on my PvP Keyblade and I had to go back to the PvP. Well now, uh, with this new update, all you gotta do is this. So you can see right here, I want to put the shark on here, but it's not letting me, so click on it. There's a button right up here. It'll tell you where it is. It says it's on slot two on so-and-so keyblade and you push okay to remove it. It's gonna remove it from every spot, uh, every part that it's in and then now I can equip it. Boom, I can use it, I can sacrifice it, I can do whatever I want with it. It removes it from everywhere in every part of the game. You don't gotta go searching for it anymore. This is so amazing and I love this. So the sub slots, being able just to push an optimize button is great and then into this even better. Now supposedly, <laughs> We got another update, which um, they optimized the optimize button. So you guys know how bad the optimize button is when we go into a quest. So let's just head to a quest and we push optimize. Let me show you on the on the global version as well. Even though the two accounts don't have the same medals, I just want to show you what, what the game does to you. It thinks it knows what the best medals are in a Keyblade, which is terrible. So I'm going to go into this quest. I'm going to say, hey, you know what, game? Uh, throw me a Keyblade together. Give me something good. So I'm going to push Optimize, and I push OK, and this is what I get. Um, all right, that's not too bad. That was a that was a terrible example, but as, as you can see, I have a Magic Metal over here when I have a pure power setup. But usually they don't they don't really organize it properly. They'll put, like, uh, my nominee here, and they'll give me Key Art Skies, which copies backwards. So she'll copy Sky, Sky will copy her, and it just does no damage. Where in the JP version, apparently it's a lot better now. That's Anthony. Ignore that guy. <laughs> I should probably turn off my volume on that. Uh, you're going to push the Optimize button in here, and supposedly it's going to be a lot better. Supposedly. I don't know. I don't have the medals for it. It did put my terror in the beginning just like the other one, but again, uh, I do see another reverse magic there. Da -da. Anyways, it just says that the optimize is the optimize button. Who knows? We'll see how that turns out. And for one of the final things, guys, is pretty much the Avatar boards, Coliseum boards, Unicross boards. Any boards that you got to collect nodes in have been optimized, so you don't got to go through all that ridiculous collecting over and over and over again. So let's say... Hey, I got a bunch of avatar coins here. I want to click on this one. I want to unlock everything here. So pretty much, I push this, I push OK, and it unlocks the entire board. Done. I don't got to go through every single node anymore. And this is going to be another favorite call. This, these quality of lifes should have been here like a long time ago. When subslots came out, I don't know why the optimize button wasn't there from the beginning. When uh, proud mode came out, I don't know why there wasn't an optimize button for that either. Do you know how long it took to do proud mode before there was an optimize button? I'm not saying optimize but, uh, button is like perfect, but it's better than nothing when it comes to that because sometimes you just have really good medals and it doesn't matter what goes on there as long as it meets the criteria of proud mode. So this whole automatic filling up and all that this should have been ha this should have happened way before i remember they said hey we increased the speed of you clicking on each node but who really wants to sit there and touch every single node i'm happy that it's here though i'm happy that there's an optimized button i'm happy that uh they're actually working on the quality of life aspects of this game and that shows a good sign um that they're they're proving they are improving it should happen a lot earlier but they are improving now for the final thing guys which is the buff cap has been increased so uh, good example I'm gonna show my global account because I got nothing on my main account uh, right now the most we can do is time seven on everything so Kyrie Shion stained glasses all of that pretty much have that right there seven strength all that it's all overwrite so this is the maximum defense 
down on the enemy you can put and maximum buff you guys can put. 7 up, 7 down. But now with 3.1.0, we can go to 15. So if you guys try to go funny and say, hey, I'm going to use uh, my Kyrie to cast everything and she has extra attack so it's gonna be totally fine i have extra attack on this it doesn't matter anymore um this is not going to carry over overwrite just overwrite it'll always be sevens and the buff caps at 15 so now we need stained glass metals to go on top of this with them so stained glass as you guys can see has an arrow pointing upwards showing that you're upping your strength and downing the enemy's strength without overwrite if the metal has overwrite, you guys are going to see where it says right there. You see how it just says 7 strength and there's no arrow pointing upwards before it right in the beginning there? That means it has overwrite, so it will always do 7s. So now you got to go into a Kyrie with another stained glass metal to get that times 14. And then you got to do something else for times 15. Because right now, 7 and 7 is only 14. So even if you have extra attack on these stained glass metals, um, that's not perfect. Unless the 15 is the little increase that our pet gives us for attribute. It is going to go up to the one extra there. As you guys can see, a magic attack, speed attack, power attack, boost 1. So maybe that's what the 15 is for. I could be wrong on that. I think it's actually 15 on top of it. So you can't use your new stained glass medals your Kyrie or Shion EX plus you can't use your foretellers because they all have overwrite on it and you're pretty much screwed with that now I don't think overwrite's going to be obsolete obviously it's not what if the enemy puts down your attack by 15 and you decide I'm going to double cast my stained glass you're only going to go to positive actually no you're going to be negative one so if the enemy start taking away our attack all the way down to 15 especially in Coliseum Overwrite's still important, so we still have to start with a Foreteller, a Stained Glass, a Kyrie, or a Shion, and then go into one of these other Stained Glass medals, or medals like Invisible, or medals like just medals that just give general strength as they do an attack. I believe Invisible is one of them. He does have time 7 strength up, if I can click on the proper one. He does have that time 7 strength up uh, without being overwrite, so he's going to be a good one right after your your Kyrie or your Shion because that will give you times 14 right there for general strength. Uh, but you got to pretty much get everything. So we should be expecting expecting some new buffers, a uh, new Kyrie, a new Shion, maybe some new stained glass medals as well. They like to do that when they're changing things up. There might be some new stained glass that comes along with this, and then the Kyrie and new Shion comes out as well. So the buff cap is here. The buff cap is here. Uh, this my biggest thing about this, and I was talking about this in Endelfin's video. I was kind of like seeing if I can get some information out of him because I couldn't really test it on my own JP account, not just yet, anyways. But what I'm thinking is with sub slots, attack boost 8 max, and this buff increase, we, we shouldn't be struggling with negative 60 traits anymore. So there was a point in the game where, yes, if you had negative 60 traits, uh, missions were easier. Coliseum, you can make it further, but people who didn't have the negative 60 traits were e able to beat that uh, level 5,000, level 3,000, whatever it was back there. They were able to beat that content because we had the buff cap. It wasn't 3 anymore. It went to 7. So meaning people who just got a Kyrie and copied it with a copycat metal were totally fine. But then recently, uh, we started having to have the perfect traits. And without perfect traits, our medals are useless. So this is basically what fixes that. I believe that with this times 15, we are not going to need that negative 60 ground like we were, depending on this whole entire time. Yes, it's going to do more damage, especially if the meta enemies go past level 5,000 into 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. But hopefully, we get that big part of the game again, months and months, where we don't need that negative 60. If you guys ever just go back into my channel, you'll see on my free to play count, I completed so much content with not even using Kyrie and Shion sometimes, just because the medals were good enough on their own. I was even using the older ones. As long as I got the buff cap in there, I was totally fine. Didn't matter what the traits were, didn't matter anything except for having a powerful metal. That's it. If you pulled so Supernova Sephiroth, if you pulled a Vivi, if you pulled uh, any of the tier 5 primes, as long as you got that metal, you were good as long as the buffs and debuffs were maxed out. So hopefully we go back to that part of the game. I'm really excited about that because that allowed us to make so many different Keyblade setups, not just going like, oh, I pulled this metal. He doesn't have negative 60. He's useless. Hopefully we're going to get out of that because traits are just poison in this game. It's the worst absolute worst and it makes you feel bad even if you got the metal that was on the banner you guys pull supernova supernova sephiroth and you try to bring him to a level 5000 quest like uh the sephiroth fight himself 
it was doing ones. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'll do ones because it doesn't have that negative 60. So hopefully with this buff increase, uh, we're going to be seeing better uh, content to be able to pass it with the medals. So we can just go for our favorite medals. We don't have to worry about traits. We don't got to chase traits anymore. We can save up better as well. Obviously in, uh, in Coliseum, you're going to need those negative 60s. But hopefully um, this changes that up. So I'm excited about all this. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything. They changed the app icon on the JP version. I'm pretty sure I have that over here somewhere, possibly. No, it looks exactly the same. It's down here. It looks exactly the same. Opera Ambia changed theirs though. <laughs> so that's pretty much everything, guys. That is the entire update, 3.1.0. Uh, if you guys want to add anything down below, what are you excited for? I'm excited for the entire thing. There's not one bad thing there. Uh, the buff cap for me, yes, it's scary, but we'll work around it. We'll get together. We'll figure out things. We'll make setups, figure out the best ones, figure out new Coliseum setups, new PvP setups, new event setups. And hopefully, like I said, negative 60 is not going to be a big factor in this game anymore. Uh, for quite a while because eventually it'll hit that wall again but right now it should be the access for everyone to get into the game really easily and not worry about those traits i think that's what they're going to try to do right now which is really cool uh, but let me know what you guys are excited for i'm excited really excited if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to hit the like button and as always thank you so much for watching keep on smiling and i'll see you in the next one